I think the first job I took the watch on was inside an active volcano and it's, it's been pretty much non-stop since then. Um, so yeah, it's not a bad start. You know, in the military, a watch is everything. Everything runs off of watches. Everyone's watches are at the exact same time, bar the second. Um, and so, you know, for me, it's, you know, you're always five minutes early or five minutes before five minutes, so you're, you're always early. Um, and, you know, it's just a, a basic fundamental that, that's drilled into you that time matters. The MB3 out of all of the Rangers, one that I've chosen as, as my watch, uh, and it's obviously tested out on one of these ejector seats. Uh, so it's pretty robust watch. It's super simple. Uh, it, I can see the, the dial at night, there's no other confusion, I just get the time, that's it. Um, the second feature on it which I love is the, I don't know what you call it, dual time or, or GMT, but basically uh, the bottom, I can turn the bezel and that gives me another time zone, so it's dual time zone, so every time I leave the UK, I flick that to whatever the UK time is, change my time, then, you know, for when I'm travelling I can keep track of where I am. Sometimes I'm bouncing between seven time zones in the space of three or four days, so um, even at that it's quite hard to keep track. You can get them obviously in any straps you like, but I need something that's bomb proof. This is what I'm used to from the military, is that NATO type strap, uh, and that's why I've got it. I do thrash it around a bit, but everything about it is, 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 is as I would say, bomb proof. I'm not sure if it actually is. This, for the last year and a half, has been the timepiece that's been with me through cave diving expeditions, through first ascents in Greenland, through a nuclear bunker experiment, through um, what else have we been doing? Through through a head-to-head -head race, you know, a survival race in the mangrove swamps. Um, yeah, it's been pretty robust, I have to say. I usually break, I usually break watches quite a lot. I'm working on a, an expedition series at the minute, and we're doing world firsts. Um, and already this watch has been on five, six world firsts. There's just been quite a lot and still quite a lot to go. We're only halfway through the expedition series. When I was choosing the one that I wanted to use for all of my adventures, uh, this is one that sort of stuck out. It's pretty simple. A lot of the time I'm too busy to be, you know, I'm busy rigging, I'm, I'm dealing with quite a lot of intricate moving parts that are ultimately could be quite fatal to some people. So. Um, I just need something that's simple and that's exactly what that is. It's simple, it works. To take it inside an active volcano is uh, it's a pretty good, good test.